Okay, baby, listen, just because we're out with your friends doesn't mean you could wander wherever you want to. You heard what I said. I want you to know, and I want you to understand very well, that the only place you're truly safe is next to me. Okay? I get it, we're here with a lot of your friends, and I honestly wasn't expecting there to be this much, but at the same time, nobody is going to protect you like how I can, okay? So while we're here, and everybody's doing their own thing, I guess, kind of, we will stick together. I'm not saying this to be annoying, I'm not saying this to be possessive, I'm not saying this to just be in the way. I care about you. I love you, and I need you safe, okay? You can call me protective, I don't care because that's what I am, okay? So, just stay safe and stay next to me, okay? If you want to go somewhere else, wander off, do whatever, at least let me know. Not on anything possessive or controlling, just notify me just so I know that you'll potentially be in a safe space, okay? All right. Um, do you mind if I ask you a question? Okay, so do you and your friends usually do this? Well, when you said you were going to go out with your friends and you invited me, I thought it would be like three or four, nothing too major, nothing too insane, something very tame. Um, baby, there is 10 people here not including us and we're walking around the mall window shopping and enjoying ourselves it's fun don't get me wrong i'm having the time of my life i haven't really hung out with any of my friends in a while because of work and school and stuff so i'm glad that you and your friends can you know enjoy your freedom i guess but um is this like a normal thing well, yeah, because maybe once or twice a month you mentioned to me, hey, I'm going to go hang out with some friends. It's going to be a lot of us there. Do you want to join? And I always say no because it's good to give you your own personal time and let you, you know, enjoy yourself as you are. <laughs> but this time I accepted and it's a lot more than I anticipated. Wait, what? It's usually a lot more than this. Are you serious? How do you... <laughs> how do you manage all of these people? Well, not you, but like, how do you guys like... You know what? Never mind. Um, <laughs> it looks like they're going to the food court. Um, do you want to go? Well, yeah, we passed by, like, two stores, and I saw your eye literally lock on to, like, three things. So, we can either join them and get some food, or we can go back into those stores, look at whatever you wanted to look at, and maybe buy something. Are you sure? Okay. Um, no, I'm not really hungry. I ate before we left the house, and... I'm still pretty full, actually. <laughs> it's okay. Yes? You want to go venture off? Okay. And where are you going? You're going to go with your female friends to a store that sells female products. So you're leaving all of the dudes here to be bored at the food court. Is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, go enjoy yourself as long as you're safe. I don't mind, okay? Right. Oh yeah, me and her, we've been dating for maybe four years. I've been planning on, you know, proposing and stuff, but I've been waiting on the right time. I already have my ring and everything. It's just the setting, you know? <laughs> hey, are you okay? You got a notification on your phone and 
your face kind of turned pale. Is something wrong? There's a bunch of guys that approached our girlfriends. Where did they go? Which store did they go to? What direction did they go? All right, come on. Hey, party people. Um, what's going on here? It's none of my business. Well, actually it is. Because the person you're trying to flirt with and or get her number is my future wife. Is my future wife. So with all due respect, I would like to politely ask you to leave her alone. Don't make me put my hands on you. Step away from my woman. What did I tell you? I told you the safest place on earth is next to me. I knew it. No, no, I know it's not your fault. I get that, but you see what happens? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you scared? Are you spooked? <laughs> I mean, usually whenever somebody gets harassed like that, they usually get kind of spooked or scared or put into shock. I'm happy and I'm glad that you have the mental fortitude and the capacity to, I guess, handle that. <laughs> so, um, did you get what you wanted? Well, you did say that you and the girls went to, um, get some stuff for your, you know, girls, so I'm wondering if you guys bought what you wanted. You did? Alright, good. I would ask, but, you know, I'm not a girl, so. Um, let's see. Hey, baby, are you okay? You don't have to lie to me. It's me. So what's wrong? Whenever that guy was harassing you, you felt kind of powerless, and one of your friends had to step up for you. Well, isn't that what friends are for? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Baby, I get it. A lot of things can be scary, especially people like him. And it didn't really seem like he came to just ask you for your number and walk away. It seemed like he had a very dark and twisted motive. And I'm very glad we all made it in time because who knows if we were a minute or so later, you know? You're safe now. You're with me and everyone else. <laughs> Baby, look at me. I won't let anything happen to you, okay? You are mine, and mine alone, okay? Alright. Hey guys, <laughs> hi, um, I know we were planning on having an amazing afternoon, but due to, you know, this little incident, um, she isn't really feeling up for it. So with this, we will be leaving early. You guys enjoy the rest of your time at the mall and shopping and whatever, but my girlfriend comes first, and I will make sure she's okay before doing anything else, okay? It was lovely meeting you all, and hopefully I can learn more about all of you guys, but um, we'll be on our way, okay? <laughs> Alright, peace. Alright, so now that that's done with, um, are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's go.